Hey, welcome to Flight Test. Today we're going to be doing a review on the new Inferno. Okay, so one of the cool things I just realized with this Eclipsum plane is there's no carbon fiber in it. So basically, it has a short wingspan. They're able to take PLA and make our spars out of it. The only hardware that you really need is just screws and maybe a couple pieces of, uh, you know, servo wire. So one of the other things that I'm really curious about is just kind of uh, how much weight these things can take. So maybe we're going to do some testing here and figure it out. Yeah, this looks sweet. Before the day's over, I wanted to get red sprayed on it, so that way it'll be dry in the morning so I can do whatever I'm gonna do, I like probably it. with silver. Yeah. One thing that's safe to say, unless you're using, what is it, the high temp uh, lightweight PLA, or is that right? That yeah, you um, I mean, even with that though, you still have to be careful, but you definitely wanna keep them out of sun, and you definitely wanna go with lighter colors. Yeah, yeah. red is awesome, silver's awesome. Yeah, yellow, blue. Yeah. yeah. Um, stay away from uh, like gray or dark grays, blacks, and like browns and greens and stuff <laughs> like that. Stuff that absorbs heat. Yes. Yeah, it's bad. It's bad. I like that. All right. So one of the big problems we've always had with the uh, 3D printed planes is vinyl doesn't want to stick to them for some reason. So um, I kind of came up with a new way of doing this. Me and Josh talked about it, and uh, yeah, it works great. So I'm going to teach you guys how to do it. Basically, all I did was I put a pre-mask on top of the vinyl. I did not weed it out. It's just put over top. I'm going to peel the backing paper off. We're going to take Super 77 adhesive spray, real quick mist like that. We're going to peel the outside off. All right, so now that I have that all weeded out, it's going to look like that. We've got our Super 77 adhesive just on the vinyl and not on the uh, pre-mask. So then I'm just going to stick it right onto the plane and then apply it like you normally would. Done a couple other tricks in the past, like using super glue and everything, but this seems to work the best so far. I'm really happy with it. Just peel it off. So I'm gonna get this uh, done to the rest of the plane, and then uh, we'll add some electronics and get this thing in the air. Dude, great job building this. Thank you. Yeah, it turned out really nice. I should have just done it in red. I like it. No. <laughs> like I should have printed it in red rather than white. Oh, I didn't think about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is all the lightweight PLA? Yes, uh, pretty much everything's lightweight on this one. There's actually very little uh, regular PLA, wow. other than some landing gear parts and stuff, you know, little tiny stuff. Beautiful. Now this is basically a first experience in a review, so right now we're going to give you all the specs. Specs. You're good. All right, cool. All right. All right. Well, shoot, now the wind's changing a little bit. It is. We don't really want to take off into the wind, or with the wind. I'm going to, I'm going to back taxi. You're going to taxi. I love the fact that it has four wheels and an ES steerable tailwheel. Yeah, and it seems like it steers really nice on the ground. It does. I'll just plant the elevator here. Now, of course, it is a jet, so you're going to have to use a runway with this or probably hand launch if you don't have a runway. Yep. I just love the way it looks. Yeah, okay. Very sleek looking plane. Definitely. All right, you trust me with this? I mean, I always have you do it. I, I like <laughs> I like building them and watching them fly. And I like flying them. Yeah, so it works out pretty good. Perfect. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, and it's up. Oh, just like all the wow. Eclipse and models. It's just, there's not a click to trim into this. And Sounds this, good. It does. I was gonna say it's not that fast and I realize where I am. <laughs> there's full throttle. And there's vertical. Oh, you stand with wow. me. Wow. Now, if you remember, this doesn't have any carbon fiber in it either. Yes. It's all 3D printed. The spars are, you know, PLA. And I mean, it's holding together nice. I don't see any flex or anything. No, she's dialed in too. And by the way, I have an aura in here, but that was all with no gyros, no nothing. I'm gonna go ahead and slow it down here because we wanna make sure that it will have those good characteristics. And it drops a little bit of tip. So I would say this is an intermediate plane. You're gonna have to fly it the whole time, but it is just rock steady. Look at that! She's pretty quick. I wonder what the flight times are. 
Um, I mean, we do have a uh, uh, 2300 4S in there, so it should be decent. It's only a, a little 50 millimeter EDF. And as always, you know, Eclipsen delivers. Yep. It's, it's just incredible. I love the cabin, I love the inlets. Wow, keeping it below the trees. Yeah. So, you know, if you have a park flyer, you want to be able to enjoy something in the parks. Look at that. Beautiful. So I tell you right now, this is rolls, beautiful, inverted. Not so much. Maybe just, <laughs> yeah, more power, more energy. What about a nice loop? Will okay, we'll do, we'll do a nice loop. Let's do that. I'm gonna come around. Give it some stress test on those so, wings. Yep, there we go, big loop. Oh, wow. Oh, no problem. Yes. Should I, should I do a hard, a hard pull at full throttle? Um, I mean, it's a good test. Yep. <laughs> All right. Well, here, you know what? While, while Mike is getting his uh, battery switch, I'm going to go ahead and do a touch and go. I want to see what it feels like on landing. Yeah, I have a feeling it's going to want to uh, ground effect a lot and maybe do some hopping and skipping. We'll find out. The glide's good. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, Mike. Around. <laughs> All right. Let's do a stress test here. Full throttle, hard turn. Oh, I don't see any bowing or anything. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> a little bit of a tip stall there. Yeah, but in our defense, we have full throws on this bad boy. Remember right. That? Yeah. All right. Full, hard up. Ah, there we oh, go. No problem. I think if you're flying this normal, you're never going to break a wing. And I love the fact that you don't have to order carbon anymore. All right, let's see if we can do a nice landing. I really wanted to do a low inverted buzz. Do you hear those wheels rolling? Yeah, yeah, the <laughs> wheels. <laughs> Dude. Again. I like the fact, I mean, it really can slow down. Yeah, it's just intimidating, I think. <laughs> I think you need to chop the throttle before you even start your turn. I agree. I wonder what this, here we go. Ooh, this might be it. I'm gonna make it. <laughs> oh, wow. Jeez. That was awesome. Talk about efficiency and motion there. There's just no drag on this thing. It is all performance. And what a great performance. Yeah, yeah, very streamlined and uh, beautiful looking. Definitely. Now, you're talking about different jets here. Um, this is called the Inferno. What was the uh, one that we tested? The, there was the Cobra, the Cobra, and we also did the Hort. Yes. But, but uh, yeah, beautiful yeah. planes. Great, easy to build, great printing. Yep. I can see this plane really excelling with a awesome EDF FPV experience as well too. The fact that everything is behind it, you have all that canopy space in the front of it. And I'd definitely classify this as not a beginner airplane. Yeah, especially with the landing fast thing. Yeah. Um, it takes a little bit of work, I guess. Yeah. But it's still a great flying plane. 100%. Also, if you want to print this, we have all the color fab supplies that you're going to need right here in our own store. Check that out as well. Yeah, so make sure you check out Eclipsen's website. They've got all kinds of different models from beginners to you know, more extreme expert yeah. stuff. Make sure you check them out. Yep, and hit that subscribe bell because they're working on a special passion project for us that you are not gonna believe. It's gonna be coming up in the near future. Yep. We'll see you next time. See you next time. Like stop! <laughs> <laughs> that worked quite well. Maybe we should just make Mike a new leaf blower. Yeah, Get some of the 70 millimeters. Yeah. Inferno may fly well, but man, does it blow the leaves. <laughs>